Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Scott Welsh, and we get together every Thursday, talk about systems and talk about beating the market. And once again, we're here, and I'm glad you're watching the video. Three things today. First of all, happy 4th of July. If you're in America and love America, this is a great day for America, the 4th of July. So I hope you have a good one. Uh, but today in the video, we're going to talk about simple, simple systems. Um, they're nice, right? It's nice to have a simple system, but it doesn't really make money. I'm going to give you a simple system or at least review a system. If you haven't been watching, shame on you. So I'll give you a review or you can go back and watch previous videos. And then we're going to talk about when you take a simple system and you compound it, will it make money? Can't wait to find out. Of course, here's a disclaimer. These are hypothetical results. Hypothetical. I do trade this system live these days. Uh, have for a while, but these are hypothetical numbers we're going to talk about today. Don't risk money, can't afford to lose. Okay. Um, honestly, right, we're just talking here on the 4th of July. Um, do you really think that we can make a lot of money with a simple system? I know it's great to talk about. Eh, simple system, simple is best, simple is best. A lot of people say that. I've said it, right? But does it really work? Aren't we truly interested in something complex? some sort of black box from the mountains of Tibet that does all of these crazy complex things that a regular person could never understand. Aren't we attracted to that ultimately? Isn't that why we optimize? Isn't that why we add filters? Isn't complicated better? Don't we really believe that? Well, I feel like we're wired to believe that and yet conventional wisdom and people out there are telling us simple is better. Well, Let's talk about that. Is is it really? Are there and is there any sort of research we can look at that says that shows something simple, and then shows that thing can make money, right? I, I'm just telling you in my mind. That's why I spent thousands of dollars on my first robot with 68 different rules and filters and all this stuff. Why? Because I thought complicated was better. But philosophically, if something's so simple, then why isn't everybody doing it? Like why? <laughs> Why am I spending all these years studying trading if there's not something complex involved? You see, there's like a war here. We want to say simple and all nod our heads, but the truth is, simple really work. Honestly, does it work? Okay. Well, here's an example of simple and why it works. And it's pretty backwards, and it's also incredibly powerful. So think about this. My favorite example is the magic formula portfolio the little book that beats the market joel greenblatt it's one of my all-time favorite trading books all-time favorite books period about the magic formula system he put together in a free scan he looked for good companies at good prices that's it huh warren buffett right he's a warren buffett disciple so he just figured out a metric that it was a powerful one and then he ran a scan free for everyone and it beats the market. That sounds simple, right? And here's how you do it. You go to magicformulainvesting.com. You register for free. You, you put in the size of the company that you want, maybe you know, like 1 billion market cap, and then it gives you the 30 or 50 stocks. You can take that list of 30, buy all 30 equal shares. You can buy 10 or buy five. You can buy five this month, five next month, any way you want to do it. But let's say you just buy all 30 because you're lazy like me and you just don't want to look at it every month. Okay. Run the scam, buy them all in equal weight and hold it for one year and one day for tax purposes. And that's it. How simple is that? But it can't possibly work, right? I mean, that's by far the easiest thing out there. At least that I've found. And yet, Greenblatt's research shows that over rolling periods of over a decade, just doing this killed the market, killed the market by doing something this simple. There's an example right there in front of us of something simple that beats the market. But why does it beat the market? Why wouldn't a million billion dollar hedge fund go to Joel's free site? run the scan like everyone else and kill the market. Why are hedge funds lagging the market if they can just go get this free scan? 
or why don't they game it? They get the scam, they front run the trades. Oh, people will be buying this. So I'll get in and then as soon as they get in, I'll sell at a profit and then that'll take the stock down and then I can buy it again. Meanwhile, they've stopped out. Yay, I'm a big hedge fund and I've screwed the little guy. Why don't they do that? Why does this research work? Well, here's the dirty secret. It doesn't always work. <laughs> the system doesn't work. It has losing years. Sometimes it can lose two years in a row. And tell me this, friend on the internet, who would trade a simple free system for a year, lose money, and keep trading it? The exact answer is zero people, zero hedge funds. Who is going to say, I just raised a billion dollars. Well, what's your method, sir? I go get a free scan. Oh, well, how'd that work? Oh, I lost money. Oh, give me my money back. Isn't that how it would go? I mean, no hedge fund manager or institutional trader in their right mind would do something simple and lose and keep doing it. But guess what? If nobody is in manipulating it, then guess what happens the following year or the year after that? Win, 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 win. And that's how it goes. And Greenblatt even says so. The secret to this working forever is that it doesn't always work. Ah, that hurts my brain. But think about it. You know, when I was introduced to this topic, you know, years ago, it has made more sense to me every single day since then. So think it over. What are some other examples of simple that works? Value investing, buying something on sale, right? First of all, who has the strength of will or fortitude to buy something that's going down? Down, 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 buy. Yay, right? Explain to your spouse. Explain to your friends. Yeah, I bought this down. That's great. You're stupid. Who would do that? And who wants to do the research? This stock, this stock dropped 50%. That dropped 50%. Well, which one do you buy? Well, you have to research. Look at the financials. Read the reports. Listen to the conference calls. Who wants to do all that? Nobody, right? They're too busy on their phone, right? So they don't want to buy something that's going down because it feels awful and it looks like an idiot did such a thing. And no one wants to do the research to find good things that have fallen. How about trend following? Trend following is simple. Buy when it goes up, sell when it goes down. Use the same parameters for both and that's it. Oh, that's pretty easy, right? Now, trend following can get a little more complicated, but in concept, that's it. Um, well, trend following clearly doesn't work. It cannot work for a year. It cannot work for two years. It could be down for a decade. Some trend following firms have had long periods of underperformance, and then it skyrockets to the moon, right? More research on trend following than any other system, but it doesn't work. Hmm, is that the reason why... It's worked for all these years over the long term, over 100, 200 years, trend following kills the market because nobody really can game it because who wants to game something that loses all the time? Who wants to even get involved in that? Really, the bottom line is if you have a simple system, it's not going to work all the time because you haven't curve fit it to every single market in the world. So it's going to lose. It has simple rules. It's going to work pretty well over a lot of different markets, pretty well. And it's probably almost certainly going to work long term. But if it's simple, you know, in a complex market, it's going to lose. And if pain is a part of a simple system, everybody avoids pain. I'm not criticizing anyone, but nobody likes pain. Everybody wants out. Why does everybody work out? Why do we have an obesity problem? Because no one wants to work out. Why? Working out is hard. It sucks. I don't want to do it. Why don't we diet? Why aren't we all exactly look exactly the way we want? Because it's hard to diet. I want to eat that. I don't want to not eat that. Right? Everything good. It's simple. Losing weight is simple. Working out is simple. Playing tennis is simple. Hit the ball in. I don't want to hit the ball in. I want to hit it this way. Trading is simple. Simple system. But all of this stuff loses. All of there's pain involved. Thus, it sucks, but thus it'll work in the long run, okay? Remember, simple, I found, will work long term, but definitely has tough times short term, okay? Well, that's all great, huh? Great internet talk. 
Let's give some numbers, right? I've talked recently about a simple counter trend system. I did a live event with my friend Rob Booker and my other friend Chris Pulver. We were in Miami talking to some traders, and I talked about a simple counter trend system. Their brains were a little bit mesmerized by how simple it was, just like my brain, who wants complication, was mesmerized. But it really can't get much simpler. Okay. So, why won't people trade it? It's simple, right? There's like, Oh, that's simple. And some of them, I think, are trading it, right? Maybe, maybe. I, they say they are. But it does lose sometimes. Even though it has a high win percentage, obviously it has losing trades and losing months. That happens, right? But it also only trades about one day a week. Who wants to do that, right? That's a different sort of pain. The pain of sitting around doing nothing. People hate that. Some people do. So it only trades Sunday or Monday, or in my case that I presented, literally only Monday in the GMT plus two time zone, one day or an Eastern time, you know, basically a little bit of Sunday, Monday. It's simple, but there's a chance, right? And there's a picture of me. Look at that charismatic speaker. That's just a shot from Miami. Isn't that wonderful? Where the people were enraptured by me as well they should be. Uh, the system I talked about, it's real simple. Um, when price moves 114 pips, this is a Forex system, 114 pips away from fair value, which was the weekly pivot point, you got into a trade. Either go short down to the weekly pivot or long up to the weekly pivot. We had a 20 pip profit target. That's easy. And 110 pip stop. That's pretty far away, but it barely ever gets that far. Usually it runs back to fair value. And we're only trading Mondays in the GMT. Okay, plus two. That's easy. All right, that's a whole system right there, right? Simple. What's the problem? Well, you have to trade at least four to get in the ball game, in my opinion. You have to trade at least four. You could. I gave a portfolio in Miami of up to 16 you could be in, right? But let's say just four. Why four? Because the big three are the dollar yen, the euro dollar, and the pound dollar. Those are the highest volume. Those are the three that work best with systems, in my humble opinion. And I added an Aussie New Zealand, which works great going in reversion to mean strategies, okay? So I just use those four. Here's what it looks like, and we're gonna compound <laughs> at the end, right? Here's a spreadsheet I talked about last week. Now, see this column right here? Ignore, this is a special secret that I talked about in Miami. Adding this to the portfolio was very spicy indeed, but that's not what we're talking about here. So just ignore one, two, three, four, just like I said, the big three, plus the Aussie New Zealand. If you add up these four from 2008 to 2019, there are no losing years. Simple system, traded with three of his friends, four total, never had a losing year. You saw the rules. One day a week, set up your trades ahead of time, or trade a robot, build your own robot. You can buy one of my robots, whatever you wanna do. No losing years since 2008. Well, that's great. But what if we compounded? <laughs> well, I didn't start with these years because these years were huge up years. Look at that. That's a lot. Trading just one lot on each, just one lot on each. I started compounding on a $15,000 account, hypothetical. I started compounding. So the first year, yay, we made $8,000. So now I'm up to that. Then I raised my trade size. However much this went up, that trade size went up the same percentage. So now trade size went up and now we're at 34. Profit, trade size went up, now we're at 40, 43, 62, 66. And we ended as of right now, June 2019, at the time, our $15,000 account would have turned into 81,731. And if you're interested, that's a 25.3% per year compound growth rate, annual growth rate. Cager, C A G R, compound annual growth rate. 25.3% a year, simple system. If you make profit, you raise the trade size. At the end of the year, one time a year, how simple is that? It's not constant trade sizing, it's easy. 25.3% per year. Do you know how badly that beats the market? That destroys the market in the same time, right? Like bottom line is this, uh, if simple works, we have some numbers to prove it, and it seems like it does indeed work. No hypothetical losing years trading the big four or big three plus one. 
to 2008. If we compound it once a year at 25.3 percent, um, like I said, that just destroys the market by threefold or more, depending on when you start your market tallying. It just kills the market. Um, so why wouldn't people trade it? Again, I mean, it does lose some trades. Um, it does only trade one time a week. Maybe people get bored. I don't know. Uh, that was my whole point in presenting in Miami and talking to you today. I don't know why someone wouldn't trade it. I am trading it right now. So, you know, I'm just offering it to you. We get together on Thursdays and videos to talk about systems. So that's what we're doing. Um, and like I said, I do have a robot for it. You can buy it, build your own, whatever it is you want to do. Um, but if you do want to buy it, it's complicated. Just email me. Okay. Um, you can go to scottwellstrategies.com. Um, or my email is right there, scottwelsh at gmail.com. Um, that's all for this week. Have a great holiday, and we'll be back next Thursday with more fun stuff. Bye for now.